So this is day one at Flibs, and I believe we're on the most unique center console we likely have ever seen. This is a 30-foot Blue Cat, and it has quad Mercury VA300s on the back, and it's an absolute monster. You step on board, and there's a 12.6 beam. You got 500 gallons of fuel, 100 gallons of fresh water on this thing, and again, just look at the space. It does not, I, when, I, when I got on it at first, I thought it was a 34, 36 footer. You got two 50 gallon live wells on both sides. You got an additional storage space underneath that can be converted to whatever you like. This is a semi custom builder. So this one in particular wasn't decked out really for fishing, but you can get as crazy as you want. They get as detailed as doing carbon fiber rod holders. If you'd like something like that. And then there's compartments all the way through the cap that can be used as storage or pitch wells, depending on what you want to do with it. You got large fish boxes, both port and starboard goes all the way up there and all the way back. So tons of room and you got two more a little bit further and then you can check out how they do this. They got their fuel water fil uh, fuel filters right there and they actually do this for ease of maintenance. So you don't have to jump into the bilge, which is back at the transom. They have tow kicks underneath and this is actually a sort of two piece construction like we've never seen. And when you speak to the manufacturer, they say what they want to do is build a better boat. So what they promise with this design is that it'll be the strongest, the most solid ride you'll ever get on. And we cannot wait to experience it ourselves. Check out how they make these these compartments underneath with carbon fiber finishes. I honestly don't understand even how the process works, but it looks incredibly impressive. Then they recess all the speakers and take the extra steps that some manufacturers don't to make sure they have the best product and finish out there. Miami Prestige Interiors, good friends of ours, designed this upholstery and absolutely knocked it out of the park. As you can see, it's got kind of like a manta ray head on it or like a cobra, a cobra hood. And then there's a cooler underneath here, as you can see. So really nicely done, big oversized hard top on this thing, tons of storage. And again, as you walk your way forward, you can see just how large of a 30 foot boat this is uh, with quad engines on it. We cannot wait to see how fast it is. And you got three, three seats across three helm seats on a 30 footer again with room to spare on both sides. So these are adjustable both on the seat itself. And then you can roll this thing back or forward depending on how you like to run the boat. There's storage underneath here and they really didn't miss any spot. You can never have too much storage, little cubbies like this resembling uh, sport fish style. You have some gauges in there, some USB chargers, and then a whole carbon fiber finish here. 22 inch Garmin MFDs on this one, your switch panel underneath, your vessel view, your head unit for fusion, uh, Garmin autopilot and full enclosure right here. From we, what we understand, there's gonna be a few adjustments. They're actually raising this console a little bit and improving the product. Um, and we're actually lending some of our expertise and recommendations as well. But I mean, for the first boat here in the US, this thing is absolutely insane. So walk your way over this way. You can see what we have in regards to console space. There is a space for the head back there. They didn't get it in time for the show. And then there's a big panel to be able to access the rigging right back there with clear cover which exposes all the uh all the all the work that the the uh rigging guy did which some some people don't like to do again you have a, a forward seating space here which is great tons of room and then in front of this you have a sun pad which is obviously removable if you're going to do fish some fishing and you just want to be able to jump up here jump up to the bow and there's storage throughout but if you're taking the family out this is a great space just to sit back relax listen to some music read a book whatever it is you like to do and again with these catamarans this 30 footer runs this 12 6 beam all the way up to the bow i mean it's probably 12 2 here it's not much of a difference than what we have towards the uh, cockpit area so again, it just seems absolutely massive and you have to see this thing in person to understand what we're saying. So this is your anchor locker, storage space, whatever you wanna use it for. And then you can jump up here if you wanna you know, throw a cast net, cast on a, on a fish. It's, it's not an oversized area, which I like, but it gets the job done. You can handle your anchor from here. Do put a windlass if you'd like, and it's really nicely done. The step doesn't bother me at all. I actually like the storage and you have plenty of deck room throughout this entire thing, more than enough deck room. You probably have the square footage here that you probably have in a 40 foot center console uh, of a straight monohull or maybe even more. So super impressive. If you see this in time, check it out at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. They're here at booth 216, and also they're just now starting to interview different dealerships. So if you're looking for a product like this to blow 
people out of the water and uh, you, you want to reach out to these guys. So they're just selecting top tier dealers to grow their network and I really feel confident that they're going to do well with this boat. I cannot wait to see what it does in the water and that's going to be the next video you see from us about Blue Golf Cat. Thank you guys. See you out here at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show.